Hello and welcome to the World History 2 Week 5 Weekly Video. So, let's take a look at what we will be doing this week, the content that we will be exploring and studying. This week, <coughs> excuse me, focuses on the slave trade and its impact on Africa. Now, when we speak of the slave trade, usually students, what comes to their minds first is the uh, African-American slavery that took place. So they're thinking about the U.S. when it comes to that. But actually, in for our purposes in this chapter, we're going to start by focusing on the African slavery that took place in Africa itself, in West Africa especially. So we will be discussing the slave trade, but we will also be discussing the culture of Africa at the time and how s slavery was structured inside Africa at the time. So we'll begin by summarizing the expansion of the African slave trade. This is when the Europeans started enslaving and transporting more and more and more workers outside of Africa. We will explain how the triangular trade worked. Now, briefly, what we can say about it is that a triangular trade uh, is a trade between three ports or regions. Triangular trade usually evolves when a region has export commodities in this case, we are talking about slaves, unfortunately, that are not required in the region from which its major imports come. It has been used to trade to offset trade imbalances between different regions. That moves us further to discuss the Atlantic slave trade or the transatlantic slave trade, which involved the transportation by slave traders of various enslaved African peoples, mainly to the Americas. The slave trade regularly used the triangular trade route and its middle passage, which I will come to in a second, and existed from the 16th, uh, 16th century and up to the 19th century. So what is the middle passage and what are its effects? Well, briefly, we will be talking about this, of course, as a forced voyage of enslaved Africans across the Atlantic Ocean to the New World. The New World, this being the one discovered by Columbus and the rest of the explorers, which was today we know as America. It was one leg of the triangular trade route that took goods such as knives, uh, guns, ammunition, cotton cloth, tools, and brass dishes from Europe to Africa. So Africans would work as slaves in the Americas and West Indies and items, mostly raw materials produced on their plantations, such as sugar, rice, tobacco, indigo, rum, and cotton, back to Europe. So these are the three aspects that we will be discussing in detail uh, as we move along this week. And finally, we're going to be talking about the, we're going to analyze the effects this, uh, this uh, exchange has had on Africa itself, and on the Americas. Now, of course, we're interested in a particular aspect of history here. We're talking about the 16th to 19th century and the devastating effect it's had on Africa and the African people. Uh, moreover, what we will try to do is incorporate also some more uh, recent events in here. So we want to compare what the countries look like today with the effect of the slave trade. We want to see what uh, these countries represent today, how this historic event has led to the current state we live in today. And we will be discussing all of this during class. So thank you for your time, and I'll see you.